Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. Alright, so I'm still in the embassy because I did forget to actually read the dossiers that I found on Esbern. So that is what I needed to do to get another event to happen in this dungeon room, which is just about to happen when I close the screen here. So instead of just kind of going through it on my own, I wanted to get this recorded just in case nobody has seen this. So let's do this. I'm back in the dungeon now after reading Esbern's dossier. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Yeah. Oh, didn't even give me a chance to surrender, but I was going to anyway. All right, let's see if we can help out the Wood Elf here. Though I don't really care if he dies or not. I cannot trust you. No more. I yield. I yield. I do not care for your surrender. Actually, did one of these guys have the key that I need? Ah, there it is. Okay. Got it. That is what I was looking for. Now Malborn. the Balmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Well, good luck, Malbor. Let me get out of here, I'll show you the uh, dossiers. Okay, so he does follow us. What are you doing? Why would you just drop down on top of forest? What are you guys doing? As they say, Cowabunga. Oh, that was supposed to be a slash down. <laughs> oh no! Malborn! I didn't actually think he'd die. Okay, the other guy ran away. Wow. Someone else is in here too. Hello. Oh, the unusual gem. Screw that thing. Well, sorry, Malborn. Thanks for the money. And for getting me into the embassy. Take care. Alright, so the dossiers. Just in case no one knows what they say, let's start with Delphine. Alright, status is active, capture, or kill. She's a high priority. Description, female Breton, mid-50s. Delphine was a high priority target during the first war for both operational and political reasons. She was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades within the Dominion. She had been identified and was slated for the initial purge, but by bad luck was recalled to Cyrodiil just before the outbreak of hostilities. During the war, she evaded three attempts on her life, in one case killing an entire assassination team. Since then, we have only indirect evidence of her movements, as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She should be considered very dangerous, and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation. She is believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her. Assumed to be working alone, as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim, and she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security, one of the reasons she has so far evaded elimination. Her continued existence is an affront to all of us. Any information on her whereabouts or activities should be immediately forwarded to the third emissary. There's the dossier on Delphine. This is the one that I had to read to further the quest, Esbern. Fugitive, highest priority, emissary level approval. He is a male Nord in his late 70s. Esbern was one of the Blade's lore masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to be to have been. Uh, behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falinesti Incident and the breach of the Blue River Prison. His file had remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Alinor for punishment and re-education. 
and the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience. A salutary reminder to all operational levels that no Blades agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are to be found and justice exacted upon them. As we are still in the dark as to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons, I have made capturing Esburn our top priority as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the Blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own, which remains largely theoretical. <laughs> ah, they won't admit it. Damn elves. The archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, which is believed to have been the primary re repository of the Oldest Blades lore, were largely destroyed during the siege, and although great effort has been made to reconstruct what was lost, it now appears that most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, Esbern remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the blades themselves are somehow connected to the dragon's return. We have recently obtained whoops, solid information that Esbern is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esbern becoming alerted to his danger. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. And then the most interesting one of all, Alfric Storcloak. Status, asset, uncooperative. Alright, background. Alfric first came to our attention during the first war against the Empire, when he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, we learned of his potential value, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogator, who is now First Emissary El Elwyn. He was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the capture of the Imperial City. The city had in fact fallen before he had broken, and then allowed to escape. After the war, contact was established, and he has proven his worth as an asset. The so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim, although it resulted in Ulfric becoming generally uncooperative to direct contact. Direct contact remains a possibility under extreme circumstances, but in general the asset should be considered dormant. As long as the Civil War proceeds in its current indecisive fashion, we should remain hands off. The incident at Helgen is an example where an exception had to be made. Obviously Ulfric's death would have been dramatically increased would have dramatically increased the chance of an Imperial victory and thus harmed our overall position in Skyrim. The coincidental intervention of the dragon at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever is behind the dragons also has an interest in the continuation of the war, but we should not assume therefore that their goals align with our own. A Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided, however, so even indirect aid to the Stormcloaks must be carefully managed. So there is the hands-on proof that the Thalmor are really behind this war and its continuation, trying to help the Stormcloaks enough that they continue to live. And I mean, hell, Ulfric is considered an asset of the Thalmor, the people that he is so-called fighting against, and has helped him in the past. So, also that, that proves that the Thalmor, as far as Elwyn is concerned, is not actually behind the dragons at all, which is what I believe Delphine thought they were behind, but uh, that's not the case. So now we must make our way back to Delphine. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Yeah, sure. Take care. Um, is that my current quest marker? Okay. So yeah, a lot of information found in those dossiers, but the, the one about Ulfric I think is the most interesting. And what my character would think about that, knowing that Ulfric has worked with the Thalmor, well, that doesn't make him happy. Not that I was totally 100% loyal to Ulfric anyway, but now knowing that he has helped the Thalmor, as far as he's concerned, his, his aid with the Thalmor helped the Imperials lose the first war, so... Yeah. Gershner would not be too happy about this. What do you want? A Nord working with the Thalmor. 
Delphine. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Oh, a few things. The Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. They're looking for someone named Esburn. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. So what would the Thalmor want with Esburn? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Yes. Esburn was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Hmm. That is funny. Since the Thalmor think the blades are behind it, and the blades think the Thalmor are behind it. Funny. Don't want to say that? Sure. So the Thalmor think the blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? Yeah. The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esburn before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Oh, will catch you. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out somewhere in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esburn, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Hmm. So what happened to these blades? Why are all of you on the run? The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. I, my character would already know the answers to these questions. And she just kind of answered that. But I'll ask. So why are they hunting you? When I was young, our leaders became obsessed with the Thalmor threat. They believed that if and when we found a Dragonborn, we would need to protect him against the Thalmor. Turns out we fatally underestimated the Thalmor. They smashed us with ease during the Great War. I was one of the few who escaped. For a long time, all I cared about was staying alive and taking revenge on the Thalmor when I could. But then the dragons returned, and I remembered that the blades used to be dragon slayers, and that we were sworn to protect the dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer of all. Okay. Well, I'm off to Riften. That is not the chest I need. This is the chest I need. Okay. Map of dragon burials. Huh. What is this? Hello. Eh. That is disgusting. I'll take it. All right. So now we need to go to Riften and locate this it? Esburn. Again, the whole reason why my character would do this is to get the cooperation of these blades against the Thalmor. Hmm. Anything you need? Fancy robes. So, Riften. Wow, I have not even been anywhere near there in this campaign. Or this series. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Ah, yes, carriages. Let us head down to White Run. And I I'm gonna be so upset if I go to Riften and someone tries to attack me. Oh you know what? I meant to get gore. Crap. 
Oh, and there's also going to be bandits here. Ugh. Always bandits trying to take back what's what they think is theirs. They'll learn. Or they'll probably kill me here. Over here. Holy I hope Gore is helping. Yeah, there he is. Fight him off, Gore. You stupid bandits. Good old nameless and his frost breath. It's over, nameless. Thank you. Okay. So, Katria, we're gonna let you leave. And just to be on the safe side. Alright, so I have no Bobs, I have no Nameless, no Catria, so Gore should hmm? join. You've got a little too what? much help with you, friend. Wouldn't want to swing and hit your companion. Lose the weight and we'll talk. There is no companions here. Farewell. Do I have any undead with me? No! Why would... Let me try this. Uh, that's actually not what I wanted. Tweak make follower. What do you need? Let me reset. Okay. Hmm? All right, so now he's following me again. Alright, gear, enable outfit management. Oh man, we're gonna have to re yeah, reset everything. Crap. Oh boy. What do you need? Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so he did still have everything. We need the shield. We'll need... Uh... No... The helmet! The... The Dragon Priest helmet! Son of a... Really? Oh man. That that really sucks. Okay. Let's grab the ebony cutlass. And I guess we'll do the this shoot. That's terrible. Just so terrible. Alright, well now we also have to change our combat style to... Uh... Hmm. Actually... 
Yeah, this should work. Spell sword? No, 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 no. I forgot what I had to do here. We'll do sword and shield. Yeah, and then we have to re-enable magic use. Yeah. I can't believe this helmet's gone. Everything else stayed the same, but... Not that. And then we're going to have to actually customize all the stats. Well, you know what? For this episode, we'll just roll with Gore as he all is. Right, then. And then I'll fiddle with all of his stats. Um. Oh, we got to get Katria. I'll make him summon a summoner again. Oh, his cloak is gone, too. Damn it. Stupid dog. Hmm? Ah, I'll, I'll well, give that to him later, too. All right, Katria. Follow me. All right. Damn. It's not like I can just get one of those Dragon Priest helmets at the local uh, convenience store. Mm. Out of everything that he kept, that gets taken away. I can take you to any of the hold capital. Where do you want to go? Riften. Climb and back and we'll be off. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. You mugs a dad, and you'll forget all about the long trip. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Hold there. Uh, Before this. I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. And what's this tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? I don't want to get in a situation where I would kill. This is obviously a shakedown, and that's obviously a dragon out there. All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Thank you. Oh boy. Gates unlocked. You can head inside Take when you're ready. Advice. Well, let's just leave that dragon out there. I'm sure it won't do anything crazy. So we're looking for a Brynjolf. I know where he's at. Gershner wouldn't, but I, I do. had another run in with a thief's guild. Whoa. Be careful, Mio. Your hair. The thieves guild has your face. Blackbriar at her back. You're a different. One snap of her fingers, and you could end up in Riften jail. Just like everybody else in this game, because of the mod I got. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. What? Hey, you. I get over here. Want I want to talk to you. Oh, okay. I didn't think we'd have to fight the dragon inside the city. When you borrowed the money, you said. Huh? That's odd. Do not worry, people. Well... No... I was just thinking from a role-playing point... Do, do I want to reveal that I have that kind of power here? That I can just charm dragons? Not really. I'll show that I'm a caster, but I'm not going to try and charm it or even shout or anything like that. Oh, but when I kill it, people may hmm, see me take its soul. The, the thing is, like, I wouldn't even want the downward to know I was here. Don't absorb the soul. Maybe if I stay away from it. Aha! Victory. What is it? Okay. What do you want? What do you I need? I want nothing. Um. Yeah, we'll just talk to him right here. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, hey lad? Excuse me. I am looking for an old guy hiding out in Riften. Ah, oh, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first, then we'll see how I can help you. 
Besides, you look like your pockets are a little I light on coin. Am I right? Eh. Sure, let's try it. Let, let me find him first. Dragons are bad for business. Passing on a golden opportunity is worse. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Uh, and what is it that I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. Uh, and why do you want me to plant this ring on Bran Shea? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. I just... Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? The fairest prices and the highest quality in Sky. Mm. I'm ready when you are. Just give the word. Fresh meats and produce. Yes. Yes. Mew in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. So this is guy I got to plant the ring on. Doing some fine goods for Morrowind. Visiting Riften? And that's the All guy who has to at the Temple of Mara. Take his stuff. Good afternoon. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I walked too close. Sure, sure. Uh -uh. Man, what is this crazy wind? Need something? Okay. I'm ready, let's get started. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone. Everyone. I've never seen such a to show you that demands your attention. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. You it's really dead this. then? Modesti, you need to leave, buddy. Oh my god. They're all looking at the dragon. Ah, oh, jeez. This way, everyone. Over here. Please, Modesti. Please go over there. You need to hear this. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. And now everyone's just sitting here. I can't. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. This way, everyone. Come on, over here. <laughs> what is it this time? Patience, Blanche. I have all these people just sitting here. Like I can't. I wouldn't want you to get one. Here we go. Trying to break in like a damn common thief. These blades better be worth it. This is frustrating. Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. No. Right. That's what you said about the wisp essence, and it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is the real thing. I have a woman looking right at me. I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. What is it? Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. <laughs> Mystical beings who live in This Kashid is staring <laughs> right at me. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you... New in town, eh? 
Like here for the fishing, I guess. Why are you I looking at me? secret for their own protection, but I can promise you Visiting that the contents are genuine. All are welcome at the One Temple of Nara. One elixir, and your wishes will be granted. Great wealth, everlasting life, or perhaps limitless power could be yours. <sighs> no way. Nice. How much does it cost? Please. Please, I need but a scepter. Hurry, a if all my supply is, is gone. Is that so he bad. has to be. Flying. Well, I see that my time is up. Yes, yes, I haven't got all time. <laughs> there we go. Yes, what yes, I haven't got all time. Damn. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. I just, just want the I information promised. on the man. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What? What's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. I don't I don't care about this until sweet meat lad. Yeah. But never mind that. You did the job and you did it uh, well. I don't Best of all, there's more where that came from. The money's nice, yeah. but I don't know. Look, I'll make this simple for you. The group I represent has its home when you okay. make up your mind. Yeah. My organization's been having a... All right, I'll entertain you a bit more. Here we go, go. finally. I'm looking for the old guy, probably hiding out in the Ratway. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. Then why'd you tell me? <laughs> Thank you. Come back when you grow a backbone. Turn out your pockets, now. I'm telling you, I don't... Wait, what's this ring? This isn't mine. That's right. It isn't yours. You're under buying arrest, Branche. This is insane. I didn't steal anything. Yeah, what a thief that Branche is. But I like how he said that. Yeah, there's this guy paying us a ton of money to tell no one where he's at. I'm like, where is he? Oh, yeah, he's in the routeways. Thank you. <laughs> and all it took was to steal a simple ring to get that information, apparently. Oh, there's a dragon. Hello. You silly thing. <sighs> Alright, well now that we're in the rat race, rat, rat ways, I think I'm going to end the video here, and we will talk with Esburn in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time, and Gore will be gore again take care just remember everything's better bloody